People as far away as Houston are seeing smoke from the wildfire. A spokesman for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says investigators believe someone set the fire, perhaps a hunter, because there were no reported lightning strikes in the area. KFDM's Lauren Hewitt reports the Wildlife Service is following a plan to contain those flames. You can see smoke spreading for miles. It's affecting people as far away as Harris County. At this point, it's primarily the residents of High Island, and it is blowing. You know, we have had other calls from uh, the Houston area, and so I'm, I'm assuming the smoke has made it made it down to Houston overnight. The fire management officer for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says the refuge is divided into units that have borders such as levees and creeks. They use these as fire barriers. U.S. Fish and Wildlife workers plan to set fire to the rest of the 5,000 acre unit that's burning. By doing that, they hope to more quickly end the fire. The unit it's in is uh, over 5,000 acres in size, and so if we were just to allow this thing to burn, um, it could be burning for days and days. And so because of the smoke it's putting up in the direction the smoke is headed, we're going to try to try to get on top of it and, and hurry it along. The refuge assistant manager says it was not a controlled burn. The parameters that, that we use, if, they, if they're not in place, you can really start causing other issues with, uh, you know, smoke shutting down airports or, you know, causing multi-car pileups on 73. We saw that happen last year. Krenwilge says whether a fire is wild or controlled, it benefits marsh wildlife. You get that vegetation building up over years and years and years, and if you don't do anything with it, it basically suffocates out the, the, the new growth. And so, so without a fire, um, your marsh will tend to start deteriorating after a number of years. People who live in High Island, near the marsh, say they're used to marsh fires. I don't know who's starting them, but uh, it, it's every year. I don't know if it's the cowboys or the um, bird hunters. But we can deal with the smoke. Uh, I don't know if you Houstoners can, but we can. <laughs> We're cowboy tough here. Small price to pay for living in paradise. In High Island, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. Now, someone first reported the fire last night. The Wildlife Service believes it can keep the fire within the refuge.